but I think a big part of it is, you know, still a recognition about the, the, the competencies and capabilities of the team. And I do think that sometimes, you know, we're so busy designing our teams, you know, that our roles, you know, specific skill roles to solve specific parts of the, you know, the work problems that we have, that we don't necessarily spec those roles in the context of, you know, the kind of collaboration that Agile promotes. And, and so, and I would say the other biggest obstacle, you know, for, for us is that, you know, these are the things, you know, when, when I was in the military that we used to, as young, as, as you know, young soldiers, I mean, we, we studied leadership. We spent time on talking about what it meant to be leaders. So mm -hmm. we developed leadership skills. In business, we don't spend any meaningful time studying Agile, and what, no, I shouldn't say any time, but not enough time in studying and thinking about Agile so that ev it's part of what everybody thinks of as their, um, you know, as our mode of, yes. of operation. 